How do I get my team to stop sending emails after hours? We'll break down the research on these all hours emails and the stress that they cause and offer some practical tips to get them to stop right here on Ask Burke. Welcome to Ask Burke with me, David Burkis, organizational psychologist and best-selling author of four books on helping leaders and teams do their best work ever. And in Ask Burke, we answer one question about work, teamwork, motivation, and we try and answer it in one take. So if I mess up, you are going to see that too. We're not going to edit it out. And for this episode, Shelly in Louisville, 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 it's really spelled Louisville, but come on. Shelly in Louisville asks, how do I get my team to stop sending after hours emails? Shelly, it's a question I get often. I get it all of the time since writing Under New Management in 2016, where we talked about companies that are banning internal emails, not just because of after hours emails, but because of just the stress of emails altogether. And when the great work from home experiment happened and everybody's schedules got all sorts of jumbled, it was, I mean, it was like we threw your work day in like a blender, like a good blender too, like a Nutribullet. And we threw them in a blender and now everybody's working all sorts of hours. And that actually leads to a lot of the problem. We've never really had a conversation about what's appropriate and what's inappropriate and even what are hours we're working right now during this whole work from home experiment, which if you haven't figured out from now is going to be permanent, not because everyone's working from home, but because everyone wants the flexibility they've experienced over the last 18 months. Interestingly enough, new study published in Organizational Behavior and Human Decision Processes. Processes, that's easier to say than Louisville. This study actually suggests that when we're sending after hours emails, especially non-urgent emails, there is much more of a feeling of urgency from receivers than from senders. And that right there, to me, is the biggest problem with after hours emails. We feel like it's not urgent and everyone else is gonna get that it's not urgent and so they won't, they'll respond at a time that's convenient from them. But what this research shows is that when you're sending that non-urgent email that you think is no big deal because you just clear out your email inbox after you put your kids to bed or whatever it is, receivers of said emails feel a higher sense of urgency and now they're drawn in back to work mode because their phone pinged them just as they were setting down to watch Blacklist or whatever. So how do you stop this? Well, the simplest and most practical tip I have for you is model the way. Model the way in two ways. You may not be able to completely avoid sending after hours emails, although it's not a bad idea. Turn off the settings in your email clients, whatever you're using, that send and receive messages automatically. Make it manual. That way when you're replying to emails, even if you're doing it late at night, you have to physically push send and receive, get new mail, what have you, in order to send it out, and then don't push that button. Perfectly fine to, to reply, not cool to send it into the system that'll send it out to everybody. If you do even have to send it out to everybody, what I like to do is encourage people to leave a note right at the top, you know, right at the very top. Hey, I recognize that I'm sending this after hours. It is not urgent. Please do not reply until you're back at work. I just needed to clear it out of mind, something like that. I am famous for doing this. I work when I'm working on a new book or what have you with a lot of people where I end up having to work on Saturdays, uh, sometimes Saturday afternoons, like I'm sitting watching my kids at the pool, clearing out my email inbox. And the thing I always say, if I'm sending it back to somebody I know works a standard schedule is please do not reply until Monday. I just need to send this. So model the way in your sending and also model the way in your receiving, meaning when people send them to you and you judge that maybe it's not actually all that urgent. And remember, there's a bias here. So you're going to prejudge it as being more urgent than it really is. Take a step back, really ask yourself, do I have to reply to this email? And then leave it in your inbox till that next time. Don't apologize, don't say sorry for the delay in responding, just send the message when you start work the following day. No apologies, no nothing, and gradually you will send that message. You see, it's one thing to have a conversation with people about cutting out all of these after hours emails, it's a whole other thing for team leaders and even individuals to model the way in their behavior. So if you wanna get your whole team to stop with the after hours emails, even if you're not a team leader and you want people to catch that message, model the way. Get really bad at sending these after hours emails and even worse, at replying to them. And eventually people will realize that the norms that you're very strictly enforcing ought to be the norms of the whole team. 
Anyway, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for asking that question. I hope even if you didn't ask that question, you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and ask a question in the comments and we'll make sure to answer it on another episode of Ask Burke.